I had a vision that I one day would be free again to be an Indian. I married a white man in 1938, and yet there's that law that you're not Indian anymore when you marry a non-Indian. We lose our right to vote here, we lose our property. Our numbers will shrink and shrink and shrink, and really it's about our extinction. <laughs> something. I said, we've got to do something. Imagine, Mary, these recordings have gone untouched for over 30 years. This is the first time we have ever been able to speak. We demand that the Indian Act be changed to give us equal rights. You and your sisters, in a sense, you're equal when you think you're equal. And if you think you're unequal, the law won't change much. A law can make your own brother discriminate against you, like he's Indian and you're not. My mother became notorious. That's when she started getting the death threats. You have to know the politicians. Oh, God. Politics. It's wicked. Please search your hearts and minds. Set my sisters free. Set my sisters free.